here and this morning we're talking about masks and face covering there's a lot of confusion about when to wear them which kind how to properly wear them and how to clean them as well nbc's investigative and consumer correspondent vicky win joins us now to clear things up vicky you've been so smart on all this stuff let's do the top line first when should we be wearing masks? You and I are inside right now. We are not wearing them. But when do you need to? Well, the CDC's guidance on this is very clear. Anytime we are out in public, we should be covering our nose and our mouth. The intention behind this is to protect other people. The idea is we could be sick, we could be infected and asymptomatic, not showing any symptoms. So you wear a mask, you're protecting me. I wear a mask, I'm protecting you. It's especially important if you're going to be in an area where it's very difficult to socially distance, meaning a pharmacy or a grocery store. Real quick, what if you're out running or exercising and you don't feel like you're around people and it's hard to do that with the mask? Can you skip the mask then? This really depends. Are you going out into an open space just with people in your own household where you can guarantee 100% you're not going to come into contact with anyone else? Under those circumstances, sure, you can go out without a mask. But if you're going to a park or a hiking trail or walking along a path where you might run into another person walking their dog or going for a jog, you should have that mask on. Again, this is to protect other people, and it's very important that we all get on board and do this, especially now that it is the recommendation of the government. And in a lot of states, they're requiring this anytime you're on public. Okay, we know that the N95 mask, surgical mask, those are for our first responders. You can make your own at home, and I know you know how to do it, right? Yes, Hoda and I did this a couple weeks ago, actually, following the guidance of the CDC. I brought it back in. It's basically a piece of rectangular fabric. You fold it into about thirds, put on these two little elastics on either side, fold it in like this, and then you're going to loop them over your ears. Basically, you could do this with a rubber band. The best kinds of fabric to use, high thread count, cotton fabric. You want to make sure it's breathable, but if you can layer a couple of layers, that's going to give you more protection. You don't want it to be suffocating, though. And it's a good idea to have multiple masks on hand so you can change them out. What about fit? Okay, this is really important, Savannah. The masks, and we've seen all manner of people out and about wearing masks in all sorts of ways. We want to make it very clear. You need the mask to cover your nose and your mouth when you loop it over your ears. I'm going to go ahead and do that with this cloth mask that a friend made for me. The idea is you want the mask to come up right beneath your eyes and then all the way to cover your chin. You want it to be comfortable so that you're not constantly fidgeting with it. And when you take it off, let's talk about that. You want to remove it from the back to the front. And when you get home, the first thing you should do is not take off your mask. You should be washing your hands first, then remove it from the back to the front. Don't touch the mask. Put it somewhere sunny because sunlight is a natural disinfectant. How often should you be washing the mask? Experts say it really depends. If you go out, you're wearing your mask, you go on a run, it gets wet or sweaty, you should wash the mask. Soap and water is fine. Throw it in the dryer, make sure it doesn't shrink. If you're only wearing it for half an hour, you're going out to the produce stand, picking up some fruits and vegetables, coming back in, then you can probably go two to three uses before washing it. I literally have five seconds. What do you do if your glasses fog up? Okay, buy a commercial anti-fog spray or try this neat trick. Wash it in soap and water. Let it dry, air dry, without rinsing off the soap. There's supposed to be a small film. That should keep the fog from coming out of your go. glasses. Okay. <laughs>